today's video is all about, I'm a little late here, but it's a Kylie Jenner birthday collection. One reason I'm late is because I purchased this entire collection that came in this nifty little bag with three of Kylie, because one wasn't enough. I waited a really long time for it to come. Like if you follow me on Twitter, then you were seeing my tweets like, how has it been so long since I ordered this? And I still don't have it. So it literally, I want to say it took almost 20 days to get to me. That's kind of insane. That took a really, really long time. I was trying to like get with the program, order it like really quickly and do a video on it for you guys, but that didn't happen. So um, if you're late like me and you still haven't purchased it, maybe this video will be useful. And if you already have it, then maybe here's some inspiration for a makeup look. I don't know. I've only purchased one Kylie Cosmetics product ever. A lot of you guys were kind of shitting all over her products on Twitter, which is totally fine. Um, you guys are totally entitled to your own opinions and maybe I'm gonna shit all over this too. I don't really know. So let's just take a look. Um, I think I spent a little over $200 on this whole collection. Pretty pricey. So I like the size of this bag, first of all, if you were into bags, like I have so many that I just keep giving all my makeup bags to people and giving away and stuff. I'm like, take my makeup bags, I have so many. This one is a really good size for traveling. Uh, I like that. Here is the palette. This is the Kylie Jenner uh, Pressed Powder Palette. I don't know why it only says the name of it on the inside, but it's called Sip Pretty, I think. I do love the packaging though. I love this picture. It's super fun. I also love how there are solo cups on the inside for the 21st. Sipping pretty, here's what it looks like. Here's what the palette looks like. Right off the bat, I can say that I am very attracted to this palette. I like all of the different transition shades. I love this shade that's like maroon with like the purple glitter. I love the bright pink. Um, really like this. I guess I could probably do without this one. Maybe I would have done like a deep green or something like that. So you get 21 shades in here. That's pretty awesome. So let's see, we have a Kylie Jenner matte lipstick. I love all the packaging. It is really fun. I love like the artistic like little dots and lines that they did around her. I think it's really fun. I would swatch stuff for you guys, but I literally just put on a fake tan. I can't wash it off yet, so I sadly cannot. Love that shape, but you know, it's like a really bright, deepened, pigmented coral. The packaging is cool. I also really like how all of the packaging is different. This one's really fun. They made like the glitter on her actual eye like sparkly, which is really cool. Ooh, it looks like a like a like a Barbie liquid lipstick, but this is an eyeshadow. Then we have Kylie Jenner pressed highlighter. Super fun again. That must have been like a fun shoot day. Like there's so many rad images. This one really reminds me of the ColourPop um, component. It is, I literally have one right here. And I guess that would make sense if they're made in the same lab. They probably work with the same package manufacturers, but you get a big old giant pan there. And that's a really pretty shade that could work for pretty much like any skin tone, I feel like, um, depending on how much you layer it up. This is a kind uh, of, don't need to keep saying Kylie Jenner every time. We all know it's all Kylie Jenner. This is a matte liquid lipstick and lip liner kit, which is what she is best known for. Lots of pink, lots of pink. I, I don't, I don't, I don't even know personally that these go together. Like this is kind of like a, a more mauve kind of pink. And then we've got a bright hot pink lip, lip liner. That's kind of interesting. I feel like I would never wear that. One more item. We have a lip collection. This guy slides. I just love how all the packaging is different. Like that's fun. They didn't just like stick with one thing. So you're getting a couple nudes here, a bright ass pink and orangey red, um, kind of like a deep mauve red ish. And then a deeper like blue based red right here. So that is the whole collection. I'm going to be creating a look with this first. You guys called it. We're going to be starting with eyes because I, I don't know what we're doing. I, I, I didn't plan anything out. I haven't swatched any of these. I don't know what we're gonna do. We need to look at this and figure it out though. Hold please. By the way, you guys might also hear like a little humming or something or some noise out there. I had to leave the door to my studio open today. It's very hot in here. And I also have this weird little Arctic air fan thing that's like blowing on me. That's like the only way I can sit down and do this today. Very hot out here. That. <laughs> the palm of my hand. That's all I got right now that doesn't have tan around it. That is really, really pretty. I think I might incorporate that. That's awesome. I'm gonna go ahead and start off with, gosh, what shade is that? You know what? I'm not even gonna go over the shade names. Like this chart on the back is like backwards to what would make sense to me. So we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with this. I'm just gonna point. So I'm gonna go in with this guy right here. And I already prepped my eyelids, so they're creasing a little bit. I just have concealer on here. So we're gonna see how this just applies straight on concealer. 
because that's typically how I like to do. Whoa, pigment. I was not really ready for that pigment. That's kind of insane. Not a whole lot of fallout either for how much pigment is there. That's like crazy. So far I'm impressed. Now I have to see how this blends out. Is this going to play well with the other shades? That's what we have to find out. I'm gonna go in with, not that one. <laughs> no, this one right here and this one I'm gonna dip it. Dip it between the two. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna lay this kind of right over. See how this blends out. Not really blending in super well. It's also turning a completely different color where they're mixing. Do you see that? It's really weird. That is so weird. It's like turning like a weird like gray color where they're mixing. Look at that. I'm gonna go back in with a darker shade and see if I can't salvage like a chalky, like milky look over it. Maybe the light ones are just super pigmented, I don't know, but maybe these are kind of like mixing together kind of strangely. But the shade, shades are really pretty, so let's keep working, see what happens. It's also not sticking right there in my lid. I don't know if it's because I didn't powder my eyes first, so I pretty much do my, um, pretty much like never powder my eyes first, so and it works out fine for me every other time, so. What the fuck? Okay, you know what? Uh, I don't even know what to do. <laughs> I'm gonna wipe all this off, I'm gonna put concealer on, I'm gonna powder my eyes, and we're gonna try this the reverse. We're gonna do the transition shade, then the darker one, and let's see how we do with this. So back, some products need to just be used a certain way, which I'm fine with. I just wish they would tell you that because everyone has a completely different way of doing their makeup. Um, so we're gonna powder this with the Huda Beauty setting powder and see if we can't get it to not change colors. It kind of reminds me of the Anastasia palette, uh, was it Subculture? That would like change colors on you when you would put different shades together. Um, like two of the shades would turn like gray and not hold their their color. So let's let's try this out. I'm gonna go in with this guy right here and just that one. And I'm going to lay this down over the entire eye and we're gonna do this the reverse way. Like I usually do my makeup. I've been experimenting lately doing it the dark and then the lighters. Um, but let's put this down. This looks really pretty so far. And then we'll go in with the darker shades and see if those layer better in that order. Hopefully my background's not hurting your guys' eyes because one of the last videos that I put up, um, you guys said that it was hurting your eyes. There was one more after that that I put up with that orange one because I had already filmed it. But yeah, like seriously, I'm fucking my eyebrows are like so distracting. I would never pluck my eyebrows on my eyebrows, but that's something I don't really do. But then when I look up close, I'm like, dear lord. Now I'm going to go in with the darker shade that we were going in with right here and see if this one wants to play nicely with others now or not. The moment of truth. I'm anxious to try and blend this in. It's definitely not going on as dark as it was before, but I mean, that's to be expected since the concealer is a little bit tacky and stuff. Now I'm gonna try and blend these. All right, that's better. It's not sticking in the corner of my eye right here. The other eyeshadow palette I had with this issue was the Subculture palette. It won't stick in the corner. Look at that. Okay, that's really driving me crazy. I'm gonna try and grab a different shade. I'm gonna try and grab this one and see if we can't get it to stick in that corner. Oh my God, it won't stick. What the hell? Okay, so the shades that are dark in this palette will not stick right there for some reason. I wonder if it's the same on the other side. So they won't stick in that spot for some reason. And those are the only shades here to darken this up. It's really just not sticking anywhere that you start to blend it out. It's just not, I don't even know what to do with this at this point. This is a fucking disaster. I have never had to wipe an eyeshadow off twice trying to get it to work in different ways. Like you shouldn't have to do this much to get eyeshadow to work, work for you. I'm gonna do something lighter and we're gonna try some of the other shades in this palette 
and give it one more shot. I mean, even at this point though, I'd be like, fuck this palette, but I don't know. Did you get this made in the same place that Anastasia got the subculture palette made? Because it's doing the same exact things. It's doing the same exact stuff. My poor Isla's, they're like, help me, help me. <laughs> so we're gonna do a really light look. Um, and try and see if we can't get some of the other shades to work in this palette. I'm not gonna give up on it yet, although I kind of already did. These are really similar too. Like I don't really understand the point of having both those, but I'm gonna go with this one. And you know, I, I it worked a kind of better when I powdered it, so I'm gonna powder it. Where'd my powder brush go? I'm just gonna powder over this and uh, throw caution to the wind. The first shade that I put on the last one blended out just fine. It seems to be, the issue seems to be the darker shade. So hopefully we'll be okay just using some of the lighter ones. I'm like going to a winery today with my girlfriends and I really like want to have some nice looking makeup on and I'm running out of time now that I've had to wipe this off twice. This is blending out fine. Okay, you know what? I decided I'm not gonna let this palette off the hook. I'm gonna even gonna get a different brush. We're gonna, we're gonna cleanse all the bad juju that just, just happened, okay? I am gonna grab another brush. I'm not gonna let this palette off the hook though. Like we gotta, we gotta, we gotta try this out. So now we're gonna go into this one and try and deepen the edges up and we'll see how this, this goes. It's not quite as pigmented as I would like it to be. It's kind of like, not really giving me the look of like, oh my God, you start to like, blend it and it just disappears. I think that's the issue we're having over here in this spot. You just start to blend it and it just like disappears. Like where is what I just put down? I can see the powder moving up in front of my eye too. Like when I'm doing this, like it's just kind of disappearing. I am so afraid of the black in this palette. If the other ones are like this, like Jesus take the wheel. If you're gonna use the black in this, I don't even know. Just for fun because like I don't even care anymore at this point about I don't know trying to make this work I'm just gonna take this purple just for fun and just kind of like lay it over where is it <laughs> what is this, this, is this a joke like okay we're gonna try another one another shade out of here I'm gonna use the best brush you could possibly use for this shade and if it if, if it if it if it doesn't work, then you know what? We're gonna take this one. Okay, it's on the brush, here we go. What the actual fuck? Oh my gosh. Okay, I'm gonna try my finger. Okay, that is like a hundred times better. It still sucks though, it looks awful. You shouldn't need to use your finger to make something work. All right, we're gonna skip over to the entirely different medium altogether because I'm just like shook it at this palette and I just, there are no words, I don't know. I just, this is what I got. This is how much love I've got for it, I, I don't know. This is the, Let's see how this is. This is the uh, Eat Cake, um, what is this, liquid eyeshadow or whatever. This is really, really pretty. Oh wow, that dries really quick. I don't know what to do about the rest of this eyeshadow, honestly. Like, is it even worth moving forward? You know, I feel like there's really no sense in moving forward. I mean, I tried so many different shades in this palette and couldn't really get any of them to work like a normal eyeshadow. I don't know, I can't wear this out. This is the third time I've tried to make this eyeshadow palette work. I really don't see the sense in even moving forward and trying the highlight. I mean, I would assume that the other ones are much better uh, because they're a lot harder to mess up, but I'm just gonna leave this at this. This palette is pretty awful, pretty awful. I have to say, I am I had high hopes for this. Like I looked at this palette and I thought it looked really cool and it is not cool. Like it does not go on well. <sighs> Even like the glittery like sheen shades are like so easy to get good pigment on and like pay off, like still just aren't there. Like it's just not a good palette. Like 
these shades just needed more work and more time and effort put into them. They blend out terribly. They're, they, they blend into nothing. Like they're, they're gone. Like you put it on, all your hard work, gone, gone, she gone. I'm not even gonna move forward with this. Um, this is decent, whatever, but like with an eyeshadow palette that bad, I wouldn't even worry about the rest of the collection. Personally, like if you can't nail like a single shade that I tried in this palette, I, I don't know what you've got. I really don't know. And maybe it's just me, maybe it's my skin. I, I really don't know because I've never watched anybody's tutorials on this. I've only tried it for the first time here and now to give you guys like my unbiased like opinion. I didn't want it like, like everyone says, I didn't want like anyone else's opinions to, you know, influence my decision making. So right now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna pour myself an espresso and I'm gonna go on YouTube and I'm gonna watch some other tutorial or uh, like reviews on this because I'm curious now if I'm the only one that's had this issue, but creating an eyeshadow look is difficult enough. It shouldn't be even more difficult because the eyeshadow blends out into nothing and because it doesn't stick to certain spots in your eyes and they don't play well together, they change each other's color and shade. Not good, not good. Three strikes, you're out fucking sipping pretty. You're not gonna be sipping pretty if you try this, okay? Like it's not, it's not gonna work out. Maybe it will work out for you, it just didn't work for me. And I also just really, these don't match at all. I just don't understand this in the least. I hate this shade, it's not not for me. It could be for someone else with a darker skin tone, but not, not good for me. The highlight looked cool, but what do you guys think? How do you guys think this went? Uh, we did three different eyeshadow looks. Which was your favorite? So let me know in the comments below. And I will not be wasting my money on any more Kylie Jenner palettes unless they get their shit together. Thanks for watching, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye. What the fuck? This palette. I've been glitter from this palette. It's all over my fingers now. So I'm getting all over my face.